If you've followed the news consistently over the last 48 hours, you probably fall into one of three camps, one, you're a Trumper ecstatic that your guy has finally been exonerated in his own words. Two, you're in the resistance and in despair, thinking Donald Trump used a get-out-of-jail-free card and now he's off to invade Iran or something else horrifying and we are all doomed. Or three, You're in the middle of the road and feel it's about time the Democrats did something besides investigate Donald Trump. Whatever your views may be, what's coming next from the Trump White House is sure to affect you and likely not for the better. Until the picture is clearer on what the Mueller report says or doesn't say, Donald Trump and the usual gang of right-wing pundits are still on their exoneration victory lap and it's probably better that the resistance find another issue to unite voters against Donald Trump and the GOP. Today, a bit of worrisome news dropped that may have just given us the issue to rally around. Not to be outdone by obstruction, Trump's dodge has revealed its plot to repeal the Affordable Care Act by way of a filing on Monday. Everyone who was against Trump in 2016 knew he was lying when he talked about repealing and replacing Obamacare with something cheaper and better. He didn't have that cheaper and better plan in 2017 when the Republicans went ahead and tried to repeal it, not in 2018 when Republicans campaigned on protecting pre-existing conditions and they certainly don't have it now. The new plan is to strike the entire law down as unconstitutional and replace it with nothing leaving millions of people uninsured. The Republicans were absolutely planning to try repeal it again if they kept their majorities in Congress and Donald Trump's plans to try this after 2020 haven't been so secret either. A question we should ask ourselves is, why now? It's probably because they're taking advantage of the popularity they're expecting Donald Trump to have and think they may not have this shot again under a Trump presidency. Either way, we don't have to wait around, it's time for us to double down on the fervor we had in 2017 when we rallied to defend the ACA, this is a Donald Trump promise that must stay unfulfilled.